Hey you, my name is Marnie and from here on out, I am going to be your very own personal wing girl and it's my job to give you the no BS, honest truth about what women want versus what they say they want. And I put up new videos every Tuesday, so keep an eye out for my videos. I've been really trying to tap into basic human psychology to give you little tactics and tricks you can use with women all with authenticity and ethically, obviously. That's why in this video, I'm going to share a super easy way of talking to women that makes them psychologically addicted to you so that they can't help but chase you and hang on to every word you say. So keep watching. So this thing that I wanna share with you is actually something I do in every one of my videos. And if you watch my videos, then this little psychological tactic has worked on you. And don't worry, it's not manipulative and I'm not slowly hypnotizing you to give me all your money or do things that you don't wanna do. The easy thing I wanna share with you is just a way to frame your conversation so that women remain interested and engaged in what you have to say. And I'm sure you've noticed this thing that I do because I know you're a smart cookie. A few of you have actually contacted me about it and told me how you've spotted it, which is amazing, and that I'm a genius for using it. So, what is this thing that I do and how does it apply to dating? And I'll give you a hint. I've been using this principle throughout this entire video without you even realizing it. Yes, I am that sneaky. So, do you give up? Do you wanna know? The psychological principle is actually called open loops or tension loops. And it's where you intentionally leave cliffhangers throughout your communication to create tension. Our minds naturally look to close loops. It wants to find conclusions to the beginnings of things. And it works with just about anything, including getting girls so psychologically addicted to you that they can't help but chase you and hang on to every word you say. But how do you use this principle in a day-to-day -day interaction with a girl is what you're probably thinking. It can't be the same as just, you know, recording a video, right? Wrong. Let me paint you a scenario so you can see exactly what I mean. And just a little note here, the example I'm about to give you is an example to use on younger women. But pay attention to the theory behind the example, not the actual example. Even though it's a great example, you will have to reframe it in a version that feels right to you. And by the way, you can totally use this principle online or through text because it works even better. There, okay, so here is the example. Picture I'm out with a girl. So the guy or you says, you know what I don't like about you? And you look into her eyes, unwavering, and then silence. You can cut the tension in the air with a knife. And she goes, what, why, well, why, why do you hate me? And so do you see how the tension loop has created? She's tense. You decide to create even more tension by opening up another tension loop. You say, sorry, that didn't come out right. You say while you're chuckling a little bit, I actually don't like you at all. You tell her this time with a giant smirk plastered on your face. And she says, but why is she slaps you in the arm playfully? And she's completely entranced by what you're saying. She needs to know why. It actually has nothing to do with you, you say to her. And she looks almost relieved, but you can still see her eyes wide with anticipation for knowing what's going to come out of your mouth next. And you create tension by leaving her hanging and then relieve it by closing the loop. So doing this a few times throughout a night or a texting chain will absolutely make her addicted to you and she's going to crave to get you talking because she just wants to know. So you say, it's just that you remind me of somebody that I absolutely hate, this girl who almost ruined my life. You say with a serious tone, oh my God, who's this awful girl, she says. She needs to know who her terrible doppelganger is. And you say, the reason I don't like you is because you look exactly like this girl in second grade who used to beat me in thumb wrestling in front of my whole class all the time, something like that. The smirk has found itself back on your face, even bigger this time. And she starts laughing and saying, oh my God, I thought you really didn't like me, she cries out. You decide to push it even further now that the tension has been relieved. And you say, I really don't like you. You say to her again, seriously, and she goes, why? She's practically pawing at you to get your attention. And then you say, there's only one way to resolve this, thumb wrestle. You say to her with a smirk, do you see how the tension mounted and then it was relieved? And how that could get her addicted to you, wanting to hear from you, wanting to hear how you think and what you have to say? Well, good. 
Now, you don't have to do this as many times as this, as this example. And if you are with a woman who's a little older, like 30 plus, then I'd stick to one or two tension cycles tops because an older woman is going to get annoyed by you not telling her what's going on and it won't be playful after one or two times. But you have to use this at your own discretion and test it out and just see how far you can push this. With practice, using tension loops in your conversation will become easier and easier and make your conversations more playful and dynamic. Tension loops are just one of the hundreds of little psychological tactics you can use in conversation with women that can help you build attraction and excitement. If you wanna learn more psychological principles that will have her brain literally addicted to you so she can't help but crave you on a deep level, then I have something for you. But I need you to use it wisely because it's pretty powerful and it has a similar impact on a woman's brain that tension loops create and it's called banter. Bantering is the foundation of flirting and it shows confidence, social intelligence, and it creates a fun dynamic that women are irresistibly drawn to. Without banter, flirting using tension loops, like the example I just shared, is extra difficult or pretty much impossible. Banter sets the groundwork with women and gets their serotonin juices flowing. It helps make a woman more comfortable with you so that they are more open and willing to transition to more. Bantering is a skill not everyone is fortunate enough to have, but it is a skill that everyone needs and luckily it's a skill everybody can learn. That's why I created the ultimate guide on how to banter with women because knowing just this one skill can make a dramatic difference to how women feel about you. So if you're ready to start having more exciting and attractive conversations with women, then you need to check out this five minute video I've made for you. It shows you how throwing a little banter into your conversation can totally transform your interactions with women and give you that edge you've always wanted. It's a quick five minute video that explains how to hold conversations that naturally build attraction through playful banter and how an attraction building conversation should unfold. To watch this quick five minute video, go to winggirlmethod.com slash banter guide and you can watch the video now. When you go to this page, you can also get a ton of banter examples you can use as templates for your own future banter sessions with unbelievably beautiful women. Guys are already writing to me every day with success stories since they started using banter. To check out and discover how to communicate with us women in a way that ignites desire and builds sexual tension, go to winggirlmethod.com slash banter guide. Let me be your wing girl and share all my secrets with you. And I'll see you next week. Bye.